Hey everybody, it's Rachel. Thank you so much for watching. It's Resident Evil and I'm loading up into my auto save. Yeah, that's the latest one. Take down Evelyn. We're in the swamp. We're playing as Ethan again. <clears throat> I think we're actually towards the end of the game. Holy crap. Separation. Mia finds and frees Ethan from his restraints. But history repeats itself and Ethan must again say goodbye to his wife. He then sets off to find Evelyn, the source of it all, and stop her. around in this nasty swamp and I literally have no weapons. I've got nothing. Oh, dead bitch. Gross. Everything's dead. Ew, they're floating. Uh-oh, helicopter. Holy crap, there's an oil rig over there, baby. I wonder if it spread <laughs> the zombie stuff. It's way beyond the Baker residence. Ew. Can I get up here? No. Super creepy. Uh oh, they're giving me free stuff here. Abercrombie Salt Mine in South Dolby. February 18th, 1892. There was a collapse in the Patterson Mine. Tuan and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never walk in his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. February 9th is the day after. The company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. And this is a... Oh wait, what's that? Ooh, Psycho Sims. A picture of a helicopter. Are they watching us from that helicopter? And there's a radio. Uh oh, I can save my game here and... Does that mean I have all my weapons back? You've taken Mia's things. Oh! But I also have what I stored in my trunk. Oh, that sucks. Do I get all my... Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> I was just gonna say... I've got my super, oh, I'm so happy. My nice handgun. My shoddy. Oh, my burner. I'm not gonna take my grenade launcher. Actually, I don't know if I should. Why not? I don't have any ammo for it though. Burner fuel. Strong first aid. I didn't know I was gonna get all my stuff back. That's nice. Gunpowder in case we can make more ammo. Let's see. Uh, let's take my coin. I don't know. Actually, you would think we'd probably find another trunk at some point. Um, I don't think I can make. I don't have any chem stuff. Oh, I could keep that special knife. I don't know if we're going to need this. I don't know. Oh shoot, I didn't get the machine gun, unfortunately. I left the ship without getting it, that sucks. Oh, more handgun ammo, I guess. Let's move this back. All right, you know what, I'm not gonna have, I'm gonna put this back for now, and I'd rather have my survival knife for now. Hell yeah, I didn't know I was gonna get all that. Oh wait, these are the coin things. Oh. It moved it from the trailer. <laughs> um. 
Oh crap, I'm not gonna have enough. But let's just put them in here. That sucks. This is probably a better gun. Alright, oh shoot. I don't know if I'm gonna find three more. And then let's see what's on this radio. Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. Shoot to kill. Alright, that's weird. Does that mean Zoe's dead? I hope Zoe's not dead. I hope she found a good hiding spot. Um. I kind of feel like after what we learned last video, the poor bakers, they... They deserve... If they can be cured, you know, it's not their fault they became crazy mad-eating zombies. <laughs> Um, and yeah, they're looking for those, what, there's gonna be army guys looking for me? Oh my god. Mia's friends. Her co-workers or something. The cleanup crew. Well, I'm not entirely defenseless. I've got some good stuff on me. Oh look, Mr. Bobble. Oh, 44 mags. Damn it. I don't want to carry that around. I never got that gun. Away. I have some psycho stones. Maybe I should use it at some point. Um, oh, I only picked up one ammo. Yeah, definitely not gonna be holding that. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got here. Chem fluid. Strong chem. Uh oh, they're allowing me to make stuff. Uh-oh. Aiming for his head. Uh-oh, how many are over here? I wish I had those bombs. Those remote bombs were so nice to have. Come on, Rachel. Shoot him in the head. Stop walking like a drunkard! <laughs> it's hard to hit them when they're walking like drunk people. I thought I saw something over here. Was I dreaming? I don't know. Oh no! There's a lot! How many are over here? Maybe we should just run to that elevator? They keep spawning, I'm gonna have to run instead of shoot them all. I wonder if these are the helicopter guys. Where's your friend? There's just one left. Ooh. Oh, good, good shooting, Rachel. Is it dead? Oh no, there's more coming out. We better hurry the freak up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, let's not <laughs> let's not waste all our ammo on them. Let's go. Uh-oh, we're going into the salt mine. This does not bode well. <laughs> I like this knife. It's extra nasty. Uh -oh. Ethan, you're having the worst day ever. Wow, I love every environment we go into. It's so cool. Uh-oh. Oh, headshot. 
Those, I hate those things. That thing beat me up a couple of times. If I get a headshot on it though. Uh oh, there's traps. Freaking Lucas, but it can't be Lucas. What if they trapped the boxes? It's possible they did. There's a herb. Let's make regular health. Um. How is that? Oh, that guy's kind of low. Maybe we should shoot that one. I'm afraid of like hitting it, hurting my face. Uh oh, there's another guy. Yeah, I might as well shoot it. Am I too close? Can I get in this thing? What is this? <gasps> oh crap. Maybe we can like trick it to go after us and it can hit the bomb. Yes, hit the bomb. <laughs> hit it. <laughs> oh shoot, it's still alive though. Not that guy. Uh oh, Rachel. The bombs soften them up for me. That's nice. Ew. Please don't be a bomb. <laughs> it's not. Alright, I'm kind of concerned what this thing is. Can I get in here? I don't think so. I think it's just there for scenery. <laughs> Alright, let's go down this creepy tunnel. I never got the mag. Um. Oh, something leads to the right. Maybe we should go straight because it looks shorter just to see if there's anything down here. Uh oh. Remote bombs. I actually do like these. Even though we got it pretty late in the game. Holy crap, where'd you come from? Shit, Rachel! Oh crap. Shit! Oh ah, shit! Ah, oh my god! Oh my god, how many are in here? Okay, die. Oh my god! Do you see how many are behind me? Cannot believe how many. Oh no, this all collapsed. Oh 
shoot. Um. Crap. Oh, crap. Maybe we could use the bombs to blow something up? Holy crap, I can't believe how many guys are down here. Um, put it into my inventory. I want to use it. I don't know how to move it up. I'm not sure if that's the plan though. If we need to like blow something up with our bombs. go back. Can't believe how many there were. I was getting eat chomped on. This is definitely nothing over there. Are there still a lot of dudes up there? It's not letting me go back, so... For sure, I have to be able to do something over here. I don't think I can crawl up this way. What is that? through that thing. There it goes. Is it going to crash through it? Nice. That's why I thought maybe we had to do the bombs to do that for us, but that was a better idea. Uh-oh. Now it's all messed up. How many health things do I have lost? I'm scared. I've got two. I'm gonna hold off on using it until I feel like I'm really closer to death. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, there's a bomb in here. Right there. Let's shoot it. Let's go check out this before we go up there. There's boxes. Uh oh, like afraid I'm gonna get hit by a bomb. Or what if you're a bomb? More handgun ammo, thank you very much. I have my psycho stim, so if I ever get stuck, I'll use it. It's kind of helped me a couple of times because I'm blind as bad sometimes. <laughs> oh, that was a freaking bomb. I was waiting for that to happen. Oh, cool. We have to somehow get over there, I guess. Uh oh. There's a computer in here. Wow. Herbs. Let's see what else. Maybe we should eat one of the herbs so we don't feel like crap. Oh, I've got a lot. I didn't realize there's so much on me. This is so cool. What the heck is with this bathtub? Oh, there's steroids on the ground. Like, what? Inject me. Yes. More health. Your max health has increased. Cool. All right, let's see what we could do. Oh, sent email. Friday, January 16th, 2015. Thanks to you guys. It's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. <laughs> This is where they were doing their test, maybe, in the freaking salt mine? Like, mom and dad are still totally under, though. 
I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She's, she gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visit her, visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin's getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Evie's not as young as she looks. She's, uh-oh, she's evil. Evil old hag. <laughs> That's so crazy about Mia having this double life. She never told Ethan about it. Infection report. This report diesel details the symptoms that appears with bacterium, hereafter referred to as mold, grows inside of the E-series, infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with uh, the uh, weapon acid. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from the test subjects and found that they were able to co-apt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego and a complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Well, Evelyn's a bioweapon, and she has a cute little heart. She just wants a family. <laughs> Is there anything in here with me? I don't know. Look at all this stuff. Oh, geez, this guy, five minutes after dose, he was vomiting. Look at all these innocent people. E. Necrotox ne necrotoxin. E. Series dosage test. Ten minutes after dose, death. All those scientists looking at her. Ten minutes after dose, death. is this? I'm afraid to look in there. Hold on. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's next boss, <laughs> next boss, next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative, working with tech assistants from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in mass with minimal direct contact. Next pass was later folded, and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the, uh-oh, it's been redacted, organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blah blah the remarkably progressed vicariate evolution fungus that we commonly turn uh commonly term the muta mutamy seat. <laughs> what? The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to what is that noise? Is there someone behind me or is it just creepy noises? Probably just creepy noises. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce this mutacy genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over 38 to 40 weeks. I guess this is how Evelyn was born. 
The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl, to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. <laughs> the first E-series specimen, named Evelyn, has proven capable of, se of secreting the mutamine from her tissue at well. Secreting. I think, well, she vomits it. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamine, I don't know how to say that word, imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in pseudonomous bacteria. <laughs> Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamice infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body redacted, whatever that means. Why would they redact that? I don't know. Well, I think we've been infected for sure, but not as bad as Mia, because I think she's gone. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms, forms of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. <laughs> For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank, performing something. Oh, maybe this is how help us. On samples of Evelyn's body tissue, produces a unique fungicidal, fungicidal serum. Oh, it kills the fungus. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify. Oh, that's what we saw happen when he injected Jack, that huge monster thing. It solidified. But if the subject cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since this treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we know call E-necrotoxin, which blanks in even tiny amounts. Uh oh, is that we need E-necrotoxin. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she really were their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as a theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantine upbringing, a parent's love. She just wants a parent's love. We can go through there, but we shouldn't leave until we look at what the freak is in here. It's like an exploding refrigerator with something on it. Um. Oh no. Put that in there. I guess we're making a serum. Ew, it's tricking the fetus thing. 
Oh, we made the necrotoxin that we just read about. I think this will kill Evelyn. Or render her a nice little girl, not evil. <laughs> e necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model. Use use only for disposal of E series assets. Yeah, it'll kill her. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of an E series cells into the. Oh wait, we did that. All right, guys, we got the thing to kill her. And this is where we save it. Oh shoot, flame rounds. I guess I am gonna be using my um, grenade launcher. Can I prep prep? What can I prep? I'm not gonna have, I don't have this. I'll move that over. I've got remote bombs. Be card, I don't know. Mm. I've got this strong chem fluid. I think I can make one another grenade launcher thing then all right so i have four rounds of that um let's see yeah i'm gonna get rid of my knife because i think i want my remote bomb to be up there. I only have two, but what? Yeah, okay, I fit it there. So I've got my pistol, my burner, this, my shoddy, my psycho sims. Um. Oh wait, I need my. Oh shoot, I need my grenade launcher. Okay, put this back. Take that grenade launcher. <laughs> I thought I had it here. Okay, that's good. It's better. Put the... Well, let's keep this on us in case we can make more. Not really sure. I don't know what I'm going to need, guys. I can keep my herbs on me. Alright, that's, that's how I'm going to prepare. I did a lot of, like, reading this episode, so I think I'm going to, like, save whatever is past that door for next episode. I have no idea. I'm really excited if this is, like towards the finale of the game. Let's just save it under number four. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll have the next one up real soon. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more, and be sure to leave me a comment. I love to read them, and I will respond to you when I can. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.